Welcome back. In the last video, we have set up our cookie consent banner with Google Tag Manager. Now we want to connect it to Google Tag Manager so it knows what the consent that has been given by the user actually means for the different tags. And we'll utilize a new feature within Google Tag Manager called Consent Overview. And that is quite useful because we are not needing to build some elaborate trigger mechanisms with some groups or negative triggers, exceptions, and so on. So consent overview is a new feature. We'll test it out here and make sure it works with our cookie consent banner. Now, as a reminder, these videos come out in stages. If you want to see the full length version with some more downloads and resources, you can head over to measureschool.com slash consent, where we have this all for you laid out over there. But for now, we got lots to cover. So let's dive in. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can connect our consent banner that we have installed with the actual tags that we want to fire if the user has given consent or not. And we will utilize the new consent overview screen of Google Tag Manager in order to keep this as clean as possible. So what is the consent overview screen? We can activate it in our tag management settings under admin here. And then you go to your container settings. And here you have a box enable consent overview, which we can tick and save and then in our workspace we can click on this little shield icon here and we can see all our tags that have been configured with this kind of consent setting of Google Tag Manager. Now you can think of consent overview and this functionality within Google Tag Manager as a second kind of triggers that are available. So you don't have to mess with any kind of trigger groups or build multiple triggers onto one tag just to check consent, but this will be actually running in parallel and you will be able to then know, is this actually checked? Is this consent given? And am I safe to now fire the tag itself? In order to set this up though, we need to utilize a few functionalities from the G tag. So Google Tag Manager knows has consent be given for this specific purpose. So let's take a look at how we can fill in the information from our cookie here into the consent overview screen. So we know if there has consent be given or not. Unfortunately, Google Tag Manager doesn't give us any kind of new tools if you go into the preview mode to actually see if consent in which state the consent is in currently. Only if you have a tag that fires and it doesn't fire, you would get a notice here, which we'll see in a second. But other than that, we don't really have the ability to check the consent in any kind of way there's no new screen right here. Maybe there will be something in the future. For now, we can utilize a variable that has been built by the community. Let's go over to variables here and click on new user defined variable. And then in our menu, we can install the community template gallery. And here we're going to look for consent GTM. GTM consent state, that's what it's called by Ayudante. Thank you very much for creating this for us. And we can add this to workspace. And then we'll be able to use GTM consent state here as a variable. Let's just keep it on all types and just call this consent state. Let's save this and preview. Come to our page. And here we should see under initialization, for example, under variables. We now have this new variable called consent state. And here you can see add storage true, analytics storage true, functional storage true, personalization storage and security storage. So there are different kind of ways to classify your cookies. We are just going to use the add storage and the analytics storage for now, but you could actually create multiple other options here as well if you have a different category system. So the question is, how do we now transfer the information from our cookie variable from Claro, which is undefined because we haven't yet actually said that this is okay. Let's see our cookie variable. How do we now transfer this over and translate it into this right here? And there are multiple steps that we need to take care of. First of all, let's take a look at how we can manipulate this consent state. And for that, we can create a new tag inside of Google Tag Manager. And this is actually a tag that has been created by Simo Hava, a tag template for specific that case. It's called consent mode for Google tags, but also for Google Tag Manager right here. We'll add this to the workspace. And what we can do with this tag is to send commands to the G tag to actually set the default or update our 
default consent that has been given. So for example, for the advertising, we can choose granted or denied or let this fill out by a variable. Let's just try this out. I'm just going to go and set the night here. We're not going to use the personalization. So I'm going to set this to granted. We have some other settings that might be useful, not get into them right now. And let me give this a name, set this to denied. We're going to update this consent on our initialization right here. Let's save this. And as we see the debugger here on consent initialization, we just have our Claro banner and our consent state is set to true. On the second part where we already fire now our consent mode denied, it sets our consent state to false, at least on the ad storage and the analytic storage, which we have defined. And it stays throughout this loading of the website. Now you see maybe this consent is an API call. This is actually what the tag does. It sends this API call to consent update to deny, denied and granted. So we can manipulate the consent state with Google Tag Manager by deploying such a code, such a tag, the consent mode denied. Now, obviously we want to connect this with actually our cookie that we have from our consent solution. So we kind of need to translate this part into something that can be read by our consent mode tag. And there is a specific language to this. So if, when you saw here advertising, it either says granted or denied. It doesn't say true or false. It has a very specific language that you would need to utilize in order for this to be set dynamically based on your consent banner. So next we'll try to translate this information in two different variables that either say denied or granted for these different specific types. You can do this in many different ways. Again, you could also use a, a regex variable, but my preferred way, because we actually have something that looks like a JavaScript object here is to use a custom JavaScript variable. This might differ for your case as well, depending on how your cookie is written. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and create a custom JavaScript variable with a little bit of code that I have prepared. So here we have the first one for our Google Analytics. And what this basically does, it looks for the cookie, it sees if the cookie is actually available. If not, then it will be automatically denied. But if the cookie is available, it will pass the object inside of the cookie and look for Google Analytics. And if that is set to true, it will set our whole variable to granted, otherwise it will be denied. So let's give this a name. This is custom JavaScript for our analytics consent. And I have a similar variable right here as well. So let me just copy this one and paste this code in here. And this time it looks for Facebook ads and Google ads, and then it will set our ad storage to granted. So in our case here, this is our ads consent. Let's save this and let's try this out. So currently our consent is already given. So in our case, when we look at the variables now, we should see this two new variables. Ads consent is granted and analytics consent is also granted. And what if we would deny, for example, Google ads or Facebook ads or Google analytics? Let's actually go through some scenarios and I would always encourage you to test this as well. So I'm going to delete the cookie here. And then let's say we go to let's choose and we only want to have marketing right now. Let's go with that consent choice, accept selected. And I actually need to reload the page. Now we should see here on initialization or content loaded, we have our new variables consent for ad has been granted, but analytics has been denied. So that works quite nicely together translating what we have right here into the right wording with granted and denied. And now we can actually utilize these variables and let them feed into the consent state by updating our tag. So we already have a tag here, which is the consent mode denied. And let's now set those based on our variables. So for here we have advertising. So we'll go with ads consent and then we have analytics and here we go with analytics consent. Let's see if that works. Let me first delete the cookie here and go with another consent choice. So this time we're just going to use analytics and marketing should be denied. Let's accept that. I'm going to reload the page here and we see 
that in the variables itself we have denied and granted. So that is all fine. And now this should also be reflected inside of our consent state. So add storage is false, which is correct right here. And then analytic storage is true, which was transferred over from our cookie. So we now have connected our cookie consent banner with the consent states of Google Tag Manager. So we'll actually be able to utilize now this consent overview. And this is what we're going to do in the next video. All right, so there you have it. We have connected our cookie banner to Google Tag Manager and with the consent overview, Google Tag Manager is now able to know what consent has been given by the user and can react to this. In the next lesson, we are going to take a look at how we can connect our tags with this new consent overview and fire our tags accordingly. This video should be available already over there. If it's not yet, then it will come out next week. But you can also see the full length training at measureschool.com consent already with some more downloads and resources ready for you over there. Now, my name is Julian. See you in the next one.